So in our last video, we've got our GDI double buffering um, set up and we want to kind of get that working. So we want to produce, we want to create a game loop where we can, you know, do our frame updates. Yeah. And then also set up our flow for the, for our project. You know, the, we, we want our game load, our game update, our game draw. So let's get started. So right now we've got, uh, we've got a, got a form here with gray slate here right gray slate here what I'll do is I'll just demonstrate that you can draw on it so this graphics display is like a we've got all of our drawing tools in there so we could draw we could feel do a draw a fill ellipse and it needs a, it needs two inputs a brush actually there's a number of overloads what kinds of things we can put what's what's it? how about I use this one brush X Y with height we we'll do you we will use that one so we've got a new solid brush. I'm just testing it out here. Um, color dot, the brush wants a color. So we just call color dot red. And, and then X and then chuck it at 100, 100, width of 100, with height is 100, why not? All right, let's try it. Let's, let's do that. Yep, there's our red kind of. And also you notice that it's got, it's got it doesn't have anti-aliasing on because it's kind of like not very smooth there we could smooth it out we could smooth it out um so over here we could kind of add in some depends if you want pixel styled art or not but um, i want to smooth that out a little bit which kind of reduces performance in a sense but we can do that so what we can do is we could go buff uh, we want to smooth it out in the in the back buffer right not not and then whatever gets copied over to the you know the main buffer is whatever gets copied to the main buffer um, inter uh, in in what we want to do is we want to set our interpolation mode to high we'll improve the quality of our interpolation and I need to import the systems.drawing.2d there else it doesn't know that which is now this is added there you can manually type that now I want to actually set up the um, display smoothing so this is the, the ant this is the anti-aliasing part where we smooth out those edges so it doesn't look all blocky and we want smoothing mode to be basically anti-aliasing and for future reference we may need we may want it we can also smooth out the text so the rendering of the text we can also anti-alias if we're going to you know also write text in our game which we will um, rendering text render rendering it anti alias doesn't recognize that so we need to add import system dot drawing dot text there so we add another one in here import system dot drawing dot text at the top here all right uh, so let's try that let's see if that improved the look of our our circle uh, oh there is an issue here uh, hold on. maybe I'm missing something that's all oh yes yeah, sorry what am I doing I can't I, I create my buffers here and I you know I need to I need to set those settings after I create my buffer all right so um, still a little bit jaggedy but that's probably because um, we're showing the front the front buffer and we've set the interpolation on the back buffer and we haven't done an update on it so so we'll leave it at that that's hopefully that will work we'll come back to it 
Uh, all right, now we want to kind of some kind of refresh. So we need to we need to have like a game ref a refresh a game loop basically. So um, you know pretty much every game has a game loop, and that's where we do our kind of our uh, that's where it handles every frame. So it does it it, it may load something, it may update a, a state of a game object, and then draw a game object for us, and that's in it. It's in the game loop. So let's um, let's create our game loop. Uh, I'll go private sub game loop, not like game loop. Now for the game loop, um, I'm going capital. Probably not good, but I don't know. I just um, it doesn't have to be. It shouldn't need to be um, public. And uh, our game loop will be, um, it's just going to be an event that will hook to a timer. So we need to add these, these um, parameters in. So this is the kind of the standard parameter to an event. So basically again, our game loop is an event. So any event will have the first input as some kind of object you know, can, you can write whatever there, and then some kind of arguments depending on the event, right? This is a, a timer event that we will need to hook this to a timer. So um, timers require some kind of event args. So that's our game loop, and we want to, this to fire up. We want this to fire up as fast as we want, really. Um, so we'll put on a timer. So in the form load, I need to create a timer. We'll call this the refresh timer. Refresh timer as timer. And it's going to be a new timer. We'll set the refresh timer to the interval of, we'll let it refresh 15, 16. That's about 60 frames per second. You know, it's close to 17. Um, so the way we calculate it is, uh, I'll I guess I'll pull up a calculator. Um, if I had a thousand milliseconds, which is one second, and I divided that by, say, 60, 60 frames per second, we want our interval to be 66.66, .66, but our interval only takes an integer. So we'll put 16 there. You can put 10 if you want, like however fast you want to run your game, your, your refresh rate for your game. We'll turn on the, we don't want to forget to turn on the timer. I'll enable that. And now we need to bind this game loop to our timer. So this thing fires every 16 milliseconds. Now to bind an event to a, a event handler to an event, the event that we're binding this to is going to be the, the tick. So this thing's gonna tick. So every time, every every 16 milliseconds, this thing's gonna tick. And every time it ticks, we want to, uh, yeah, no, we also add handler, add handler, add handler. We wanna add, we wanna add to this tick, this thing. We wanna bind this thing to that. And we'll go, and then, we'll, and then it will be address of game loop. So that should now fire every 60 milliseconds. Let's just test that. We'll go console dot right line just to make sure this thing is firing. And we'll just go blah 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 doesn't matter. La la la. F F S S D S S S. Play, and then th that thing should just fire up in output. There you go. Whoa! Like every 16 milliseconds, this thing is firing. All right, so. That works good. So I'll, I'll just comment that one out. Um, we don't need that. But we, now our game loop's working. We we want to do our double. We want to handle our double buffering in our game loop. So let's write some code.